Welcome back to this. Already the final segment of today's Price of Business. Yeah, it's usually the three amigos music, but, you know, we're, we're pretty pathetic with the three of us, but there's only two of us today. And it's like, <laughs> you know, why embarrass ourselves? Of course, we wouldn't have been embarrassed unless I said something which I couldn't resist like doing that. like I just did. <laughs> it's sad. Uh, Marsha, Marsha Lambeth is uh, here with us today, and uh, she is in for Sigmund Kramer, doing her worst Sigmund Kramer impersonation. I usual. can't grow the beard. It's the beard problem. Yeah, you got a <laughs> facial hair issue. Yeah. And uh, probably one Thank every goodness. woman wants anyway, so exactly. that's probably good. So a um, couple of things. First of all, I noticed you've got those cool headphones. Uh, talk about your headphones real quick. Oh, my Beats. Yeah, They're your awesome. Beats. awesome. I love these things. Was that Dr. Dre? Yeah, I'm I'm the Christian Dr. Dre. That's the exactly Dr. right. Dre. They're nice. I... Do you ever watch uh, The Voice? I do. Sometimes. You notice you notice those those Beats are on all the time? Yeah. Talk about serious, heavy-handed product placement. <laughs> it's like Coke on the uh, on the other music show. Yeah, exactly. Which one of them is that? Uh, American Idol. American Idol. I thought they yeah. used that uh, stuff that Rush Limbaugh used to drink. Uh, um, they're always drinking Coke out of Coke, or they've got Coke glasses. Anyway, I don't know what they're drinking, but anyway. I thought it was that tea. That tea that uh, oh, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it begins with an S. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, call me and let me know what it was. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, but uh, tell me why those are better than other other headphones. I I like them because they're comfortable and because they sound really crystal clear. They sound nice. They got a lot of range to them. Uh, so I've been happy with them. And that I I bought them with a Groupon, so I paid a fraction of what the cost was. So that's the best part right there. How much do they normally run? These run about two hundred dollars. Which can you imagine paying two hundred bucks for a pair of headphones? I mean, mm. I work. I wear. I use them for work. You, you've been okay. in the industry for a couple of months, and but so kids pay that much money yeah. just to walk around listening to music. It's like yeah, unless no. you're on American, uh, unless you're on The Voice, then they give them to you for free. Every, oh, yeah. every one of those kids. <laughs> yeah, please wear it all the time. Wear it in the shower. Wear it all the Everywhere. time. So um, let's talk a little bit about uh, something that's really interesting, which is your trip to Israel. Yeah, I spent uh, 10 days in Israel, um, overwhelming and life-changing. And you know how small Israel is? Uh, um, you it's know, we, small. We think bombings and wars and things like that are going on. And, and for us, it's always way overseas, the other side of the world our enemy is. But there, it's like, okay, here's the West Bank right across the street from Cana, where the wedding <laughs> where the wedding uh, happened, where he turned water in the wine, that miracle. And it's like they're, they're right on top of each other. In Jerusalem, there's like an Arab neighborhood and a Muslim neighborhood and then a Jewish neighborhood. And it's like they're all right there on top of each other. Yeah, they say it takes less than five minutes for a fighter jet to go over the entire space of Israel. Yeah, I can see how. Yeah. Small, so, but beautiful uh... country, beautiful people, and amazing experience if so, you ever get a chance to go you should go are you gonna go back again you know i've actually been asked if i would and i said yes the only drawback for me would be that flight because the flight's grueling but the trip itself to go back and see more and and do more learn more i'd love to because that's what it gave me it gave me more of everything that i already believed in for you know i've been a christian since i was a teenager but it made everything so much more for me more authentic uh, yeah so what what is it about that? You know, I'm wondering if it has to do with your personality type. Hmm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Personality yeah. types might be, a, you know, they have to see rather than experiential type of thing. I'm not so much like that. In fact, according to those personality tests, actually seeing things like that are the least impressive to me. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Everybody on our trip that went, everybody had the same type of experience where you were just changed because you were there. I think the the place itself, there's something amazing there. Going to the Wailing Wall, I didn't think that much of that because I just thought, okay, that's a Jewish thing. That's an Old Testament thing. But when I put my hand on the Wailing Wall to pray, something powerful happened. I mean, there there's something there. And, and it was and, not a, like a bomb or anything. Yeah, like that. it wasn't a bomb, yeah. no. But yeah, it was a spiritual bomb. That's probably bomb. one of the safest bomb. places in Israel because that is sacred to all all the parties. Yeah, yeah, true. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> even though they're fighting over it again right now, but yeah, it's it's an amazing experience. And just you know, being in this place, knowing that you're sitting and looking out over hills where Jesus looked over those same hills when he was contemplating his own ministry. That was that was amazing. And seeing the places where he preached or spoke or you know, sacrificed or miracles happened. And it, that was, that was amazing. It was. Yeah. By the way, it was Snapple. 
Snapple's what they drink now on... Uh, well, that's what... I, the, every time I've watched, but I don't watch it frequently, but yeah. it was always Snapple I saw, okay. by the way, which was Rush Limbaugh's Ball's drink for years, and now he has his own brand called Two of Two of By Tea. If, if they could only see what you're drinking. And he has it dressed uh, <laughs> as... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My heavy doses of styrofoam cup water. <laughs> All right, we ran out of time. She just turned on the music. Yeah. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Do you want to give props to our good friends over at com for bringing us part of today's program? Have a great day and spend it wisely by listening to this great station.